Whoa, cowabunga, dudes! Michelangelo here from the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and you are listening to the Tokyo Black Hour with Jermaine, Jamar, Dusty, Brandon, Christian, the most bodacious dudes, and the most bodacious dudette, Lisa, right here. Cowabunga! Whoa. Welcome back. Oh, my God. That nigga still was talking <laughs> I love, I love so that man. Long. I, wow. I love, love that, that man. man too. Oh, welcome back to the 200th episode of the Tokyo Black News and Review. Congratulations. This is the Scravaganza Bonanza. The whole crew is here. Even Lisa's going to show up. Hell yeah. Well, I knew I ain't slayed them demons for nothing. <laughs> the gang's all here. <laughs> The gang's all here. We like to present. Hey, let's do this again. We like to present you with the translucent one, Dusty, the amazing, now retired, and what? soon to be new working man, Arthur Christian Terry. Yay! Yeah, that nigga retired from his other job. Show you right working for the government. Oh no, shit. <laughs> Good for you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, congrats. Thanks. Big Booty Judy will be here later to give herself a shout out. We'd like to bring you the wise son, B-Rock. If he can't explain it, it cannot be explained. Let's get on down to your daddy from the future and the past. Y'all seen Terminator. That's how it really works out. A mad dream is to go back and save the world and tap some ass. <laughs> <laughs> and you get to see the, you, and you also get to hear the most unarticulate man in the world, myself. Happy to have you here. Brandon got something special for you. I love to sing about the moon and the June and really? the spring. <laughs> Every time that song come on, that shit just touch my heart. <laughs> <laughs> it's an awful cartoon, but goddamn the melody sticks to you, don't it? It sure does. I'm happy to have the whole crew here, man. Shit, boy, we finally got them PPP loans to pay our employees. Mm-hmm. It does feel good to have the whole crew. So this weekend, yesterday, I had to do a little reminiscing. This is for Dusty. I had to do a little powder this weekend. Dusty, how you feel about that? Yeah, the what? Watch powder? I had to do a little. Yeah, I was, it, it was going into watching powder, the 1995 cult <laughs> classic about an albino boy with mm. energy, superior IQ. The nigga can move structures with his mind, and he's albino. I love it. Is that what that movie was about? I thought that nigga was an alien. <laughs> nah, no. Yeah, it's powder, man. That nigga, I mean, like, who are you, man? Nigga, what? You are a nigga that cannot go outside. I can't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's not it looks a, like that guy that was after Roger Rabbit. <laughs> there's not a 0% <laughs> chance he's a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a ghoul because he's walking around doing the day reading yeah. people's thoughts. Nigga, you tell a can... <laughs> I don't think that's the right word. Nigga, shit your bitch ass up. Nigga, you can read mine. <laughs> mm, telepathic <laughs> is the word you're looking for there. No, I'm just talking about black people talk when they see somebody oh. <laughs> albino. He tell them he, he can read mine. Nigga, you lying to me. Oh, uh, this nigga look like oh, Brown feels, Stone every time though. I think about. It. Man, my bad, ma. Shout out to everybody who caught up on all the latest episodes. <laughs> Welcome back to 200. Guess what, Brandon? What's that? Shout out to the people who can no longer do powder. Death stalks <laughs> you at every turn. Grandpa. Well, it does. Ah, death. There it is. Death. They'll be mad oh, as hell death. now. Everything what? stepped on. <laughs> <laughs> the product's no good. I'm going clean, John. <laughs> you go to hell and all the powder's too good. I can't take. It. <laughs> That's like a Twilight Zone. You ain't got no step though. That shit too strong. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to all this goodness. <laughs> I'm not good. used to the good shit, dog. <laughs> Oh, God damn. Let's get on up to the upper room, man. The upper room is where we celebrate these celebrities that we know and love with our hearts and minds and these celebrities we don't know. Everybody deserves a shout out. Everybody deserves to be put on the list. And like Dusty say, you only start a show off right if you started with the dead. (laughs) 
Yeah, with the obituaries. Yeah, there you go. Roll Something the like obituaries. That. Let's get- Ooh, let's roll the obituaries. Pop idol and stage star Darius Campbell died at 41. I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. Star what now? It's Darius Campbell. Not much of a pop, a pop idol in my eyes. <laughs> Darius Rucker. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, the no, no. He was from Europe. He's 41. He's from Europe. I love when people... Hey, man. As long as somebody put your name out there. Darius Campbell, everybody. Darius. When Darius Campbell woke up this morning, Brandon? I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. R- Darius. I did hear his alarm clock was set to... I love to sing it. About the moon and the June and the spring. That's substantiated. <laughs> Oh, oh, man, move on down don't, don't, don't pack them bags, my nigga. You don't need them. <laughs> you don't need them. What the hell is in those bags? <laughs> Rabbit <Rabbit's weak. laughs> Oh, let's move on down to goddamn Steve Grimmett, frontman of metal band Grim Reaper. He is dead at age 62. <laughs> Ironic. <laughs> is it? Because, if, it was, if, it was, if it is ironic, it was always going to be ironic. Was yeah, because case? he met him. You know, <laughs> it was going to be ironic at whatever point that guy died. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> hey man, it, it was a long con. You know, I don't it, know if that's how irony works. It, but. it was low hanging fruit, but you know. uh, damn, damn, Brad said the low hanging fruit. The devil just kicked it up. The grand reaper said, "Nigga, uh, it's your time. I'm hungry." Oh man, I love it. Why oh, Jermaine said I looked at several pictures of this white man and I'm sorry. I do not know this white man. I couldn't recognize this white man for any homeless white man. Any white man that looks like Steve Banner. Jermaine said he mm. looks like Meatloaf. Dude, that I, nigga look like Meatloaf. I did take mm. I did take a second to fucking get a like a piece of his song. You wanna hear it? I love to sing it. No. The moon and the June and the Not as metal as you think for somebody a band called Grim Reaper, you know what I'm saying? That's my jam, nigga. Now, if he made that, we in there. Nah, he didn't. Oh, all right, nigga. Sorry, Grim Reaper Meatloaf. <laughs> Who else this nigga is? Boy, this nigga was a Meatloaf stand in. For y'all white people, ain't heard of the Grim Reaper band? Nope. Nay. <laughs> Goodbye. Anybody hurt? I'm pretty sure he was famous among a lot of people. I don't he know. He was 62. Uh, Brandon should have knew who this nigga was. I mean, well, well, there's five of us, and not one of us have heard of him, so I don't know. I mean, that, I mean, that ain't, in itself ain't proof or anything, but it's true. <laughs> it ain't like our goddamn uh, our music selection go into what you would call the unforeseen music, the hard <laughs> rock. Yeah. The super grungy shit. You, oh, I like that shit. You know, when I was a girl, how she played that. I was like, yeah, it's that true. shit jamming. It's true. It's I'm not going to get laid or get robbed. I guess I'm going to see y'all later. This Let's get satanic, on down. This is a satanic ritual, nigga. They don't rob people. Man, I was riding around today, and I was just thinking to myself, man, my music, my music taste is trash. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, you know, because it was like, I had just flipped out the wrong station and like some, some heady jazz was on. And I was like, oh man, I hate jazz. And then I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you, you and the rest of America, you know what I'm saying? I know like two people. I fuck with jazz, man. No. I know two. Okay. I know three people in my whole life who fuck with jazz. I fuck with yeah. it. That shit keep me calm from busting out a nigga's head. Okay. That makes four, I guess. I've, I've met two of them in the past 30 <laughs> seconds. Sorry. Fuck with that jazz, boy. Takes me down on a notch. You know what I mean? Oh, that shit. Oh, that shit. (laughs) Anyway. (laughs) Moving on to singer Q Lazarus, dead at 61. I'm sorry to my black sister. I think she was in a jazz music, too. (laughs) Coincident, huh? No. Uh, I'm sorry, Q. I mean, she did do that famous (laughs) song. I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. I don't even know this was a person talking. (laughs) Woman, there. Let's get on down to Wolfgang Peterson. I was like, Wolfgang, fuck that. I mean, who the fuck is Wolfgang Peterson? <laughs> and they said, oh, he directed Das Boots in Air Force One. What has he done lately? <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Air Force One. <laughs> Bro, I will kid you not. The only reason I know about that German story, Das Boots, is from American Dad. I thought that oh. shit was. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I need yeah. to watch the episodes about Das Boots, boy. God damn, boy. Mm-hmm. 
Well, I don't even know what that shit. Uh, that shit, well, that shit, that shit's a tragic story. I'm like this nigga. What? And Air Force One. We talking about Air Force One with Nicholas Cage. No, no, was no. It, that is, uh, Air Force One had Harrison Ford, right? Yeah, where he's you talking about Cun now? Okay, they, they the same. <laughs> Essentially, <laughs> it's just another dirty cracker <laughs> mm. arriving on a plane, <laughs> stopping some nun yeah. terror. <laughs> <laughs> it's the craziest shit in my life. You see that movie, bro? There's no way on God's green, oh, no Jack Crack is supposed to Don't survive. Take that statement no, I'm talking, about, I'm talking about Air Force One. All them niggas should have been sucked out of their plane. You're getting off my plane, <laughs> nigga. So are half of the other people. <laughs> <laughs> so are that seat you standing on, nigga, that wig, all and that shit. the plane coming. blow up at the end or something. He got most of them off. Uh, Hell if I, know. I, I could revisit it. Yeah, me too. The only thing I remember is like the opening scene. You know. Mm-hmm. And you know what else I remember? <sighs> Go ahead, Dusty. Oh, no, that was it. That's all I had for oh. my impersonation was Mr. President. <laughs> <laughs> Get the Ford. hell off of my plane. Harrison Ford spitting in people's yeah. faces. In, I didn't kill my wife. I don't care. <laughs> That's, that's a I different movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the it same. Been a better movie. Oh, I'm gonna shit. give one more that shout out to somebody who got uh, somebody who got sent to the upper room. My first dog, son. I called him all my right. son. It was Cloud. He passed away yesterday at one o'clock. It ain't pretty, but you know everybody don't get a good life. And I, you know what always makes me happy, Brandy, when I think about that dog. What's that? It was another dog getting shit on while that nigga was out here living like a king. <laughs> as long true. as you live, as long as he had a good ten years, it's one having a bad lip. <laughs> you ain't lying, Jack. <laughs> it was the only way Cloud could sleep at night was knowing another dog out yeah. there was getting his ass beat. That's with the only way he slept good last. <laughs> the nigga put a scarf on his shoulder, cold out there, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I think dogs are racing. Get out of here, cat. <laughs> <laughs> the, the white dog can't come in here. I mean, I love my dog, though, man. That dog can't stand white people. I don't know what y'all did to that motherfucker oh, wow. in his past life. <laughs> but every white little boy and girl, a man yeah. or woman. He like he me. He trying to bite them goddamn fingers off. Yeah, yeah. After you gave him a yeah. treat and I told him to shit the fuck up two times. It's because we keep our shoes too long. That's what I, would. I have never thought about that. That's probably why I, I don't know, dog. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, change your shoes. No. <laughs> change your shoes. Change your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That would be a good reason why dogs buy white people's shoes. Change them, goddamn. You had yeah. them in 10 years. <laughs> yep. Goddamn, Bobby. Well, our- R.P. to my favorite dog. He don't get to go up there with Tim Boy, goddamn racist Joe. He get his own chariot from the Tokyo Black Fund that we stole from Dusty, Elisa, and Christian. <laughs> All our animals are going to heaven. And Jermaine get to drive a Bentley into heaven for some reason. <laughs> Already been paid off. See all the money y'all were missing not coming to work? Any good, don't want it, Will, Brandon? <laughs> Hold on, I got one more. I got, I got, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got one more. I got one more. One, one, one of my good friends. About what? Three weeks ago, I found out. What? Two weeks ago, I found out he died. I met Holly. His name was Mickey. What was he? I'm, I'm going to send him up on the sky on the motherfucking big elephant. He was a real short motherfucker. Y'all would have enjoyed him. And Dusty Easeman, my big homie, was his friend for 12 years. I got to give Mickey, Mickey a shout out, man, because I probably known him a little longer than that, but I ain't seen him in forever. Rest in peace, big homie. I said, I'm going to get Brandon to play his fucking favorite song at the end of the show. <laughs> Southern Man by Southern Isolation. I don't know. You would like that motherfucker, man. Send him on a big elephant in the sky. He'll look short, motherfucker. Well, see the mouse on top of it. Yeah. You got all one more game. He got all the, mother, all the mother scrubs up, up front. <laughs> Cloud and Mickey. Y'all niggas cloud and ride high, man. <laughs> I direct the Air Force One and a goddamn dog get a chariot. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> what have was you that? done lately? Harrison Ford was young. <laughs> ish. <laughs> was, I don't know about that. Young ish. <laughs> I mean, that nigga, gray hair. That nigga had gray hair since fucking Star Wars. Nigga, I don't, 
<laughs> My bad. Dying this shit. <laughs> You're a ghoul. You're right. Boy, I love the way he beating him up in goddamn um, Blade Runner 2049. I used to be good. <laughs> you were getting sloshed around the whole movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. man, yeah. Ooh, he got fucked up. I oh, killed man. one row. Like, I ain't never seen a nigga take an ass with me to get some more. <laughs> I'll be honest. That shit, that shit haunted my childhood. Like, how bad I they thought that nigga was an android. He's just an out of shape oh. white man. <laughs> <laughs> you mean as a kid, you thought he was an android? Like, yeah, like this nigga tagging a beating. Ooh. They're bending his fingers. In a regular back. human. Any, any regular human would have cried mama by now and jumped out the window. Oh, I'd have definitely let oh. them motherfuckers oh. go oh. for sure. You kidding me? I yeah. ain't fighting them on that fucking roof. I'm like, all right, dog. You, I'm mean, like, yeah, game over. Yeah, yeah. You go win, look, Rucker Howard. Go look at raindrops <laughs> in the fucking that space or whatever. I got to go get my fingers worked on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got me Dr. Strange up in here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Attack ships on fire or whatever. Drugs, yeah. That nigga ran through a wall with his head. You really <laughs> thought you were going to win? <laughs> nigga, you needed Jesus, God, the Terminator, and Hercules. <laughs> it's some time. You know what else he needed? It's one of my favorite movies. No, I'm sorry. You know what? You know who has no, who has no more time, Brandon? Living in America. <laughs> that nigga better tighten up, bro. It's drying up everything. <laughs> that, that's White true. people sucking it dry. <laughs> well, yeah. Nigga, I ain't even know they called the a, a a food store's pantry is a pepper print a pepper pantry. I said, dang, y'all niggas be having names for everything, boy. They got their own pantry for pepper. No, it's yeah. called a pepper, a prepper. Pan- oh, prepper. Gotcha. When you got all your food prep. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I like, damn, y'all niggas just be shouting like that. I want me one of them. I got some canned goods. I last about a year and six months. <laughs> that bitch got own meat in here. So you got your own meat. You can in your own meat. Boy, only in America. I didn't know you could can meat. Yeah. And it can last up to a year. Some people say four or five years. Hmm. You mean like salami and shit? Real bad nah, nigga around the state. Nigga around you all that oh, shit. Oh, they can in ribeyes? I like it. Mm, but this is start bringing the bitches out to barbecue, Jamal. <laughs> this is episode 200, man. So let me sip to everything. Let's get on to the crazy thing we saw in the United States of America. This is great American news. If y'all got anything y'all want to talk about, y'all going to pull it out now before I get into the stories. Okay. I'm the good. craziest shit I've seen in my life in 2022 was from from 2021. No, 2022 right now. Yeah. Now I'm going to say 2021 and 2022, 2022, them niggas burned a million minks, bro, <laughs> to stop COVID, <laughs> and it did nothing. <laughs> them animals died. They suffered. <clears throat> for you niggas not to catch COVID, and what happened, Brandon? <laughs> they still got their own nigga killed a million <laughs> Brandon <Binks. laughs> that nigga walked out there with them half minks burnt in the bags <laughs> what the hell is in those bags rabbit weasels <laughs> <laughs> nigga them dead minks <laughs> the, the, the only thing I could think was oh my god mm-hmm. that could have been me <laughs> bro, those beautiful meats were like, hey, humans, they come to play with us. And these niggas were bashing them in the head. <laughs> they wouldn't catch COVID. <laughs> hey, Brandon. Yeah. Oh, my God, I'm sorry. What did those minks say when they seen them humans come? I love to sing about the moon and the juna and the springer. Making my way down. <laughs> 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 that would have been much better oh man we don't need to talk to Dr. Fauci because every time we mention the C word we get demonetized I'm like damn my nigga <laughs> 200 episodes in and the government watching us I never thought I'd be this famous <laughs> 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 we on the government top 10 million <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, 10 million, you say. I like the rankings, nigga. We doing good. 
Um, <laughs> so we're not going to make the Dr. Matthew this week. So right behind you know, Eric Snow, huh? <laughs> yeah. Anybody else got anything else crazy in 2022? <laughs> no, they what, just in general, or something that y'all already talked about, or something that you've seen yourself, something that you think is just insane. This whole twenty twenty two. Oh well, so yeah, we, we covered it already, but I, I mean, it, I think you got to repeat it. Like when that elephant came to that lady funeral, after he killed it. <laughs> that was <laughs> that was one of the damnedest things I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> right. See, I, I said it again. If it, it don't matter, that's the most that he brought. People with him. He brought other animals with him. Understand that shit. The coordination. <laughs> it, 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 it left. It left a. Uh, what do you call it? It left a sanctuary like a hundred miles away. Like My use man. use GPS to get to this lady house. Man. Murdered her the first time and waited waited and posted up for the funeral. Then bars in during the funeral. What the nigga say when you taste blood, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> when you take blood for the first time, nigga, you go mad. <laughs> I'm gonna say I feel good. <laughs> yeah, that's the damn thing I've seen in my life. Rough, bro. But this nigga <laughs> hit a. Hey, boy, hey, look, this, this is the track. Hold on, go ahead, Ma. A pack of elephant ruined the whole town, bro. They'll never be able to financially recover. <laughs> I don't know. Because you know the insurance, like, elephants? Nigga, you lying to me. It ain't in your coverage. <laughs> Sounds like an act of God to me, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the, the fucking strangest thing I saw fucking for the past couple of years was that stupid insurrection. Mm. We've been talking well, about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've been, talking, be. we've been yeah. talking about that for what, three years now? Two, two yeah, and a half? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> hey, can I tell you uh, can I tell you a side note slightly on the biggest Great, crazy thing I've seen about the insurrection. What's that? Y'all nigga go to jail for two months. <laughs> nigga, all that chaos. Nigga walking around here getting to go to the fairy tale lodge. Like, what? Yeah. You're yeah. yeah. a vegan. Nigga, you finna be starving. <laughs> Making <laughs> big rocks. You finna eat that fake bison on your head. You ain't gonna eat it here, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. No nigga can uh, <laughs> let me run to jail. What the fuck you mean? They ain't making clothes no more. They need to learn a good a good service. What's that? Making big rocks <laughs> into little rocks. And Ten crazy. hours a day. And it's crazy the motherfuckers who've been fucking arrested because of it too. Remember that rapper that used it for his like the cover of his album? <laughs> that nigga got like fifteen <laughs> years, bro. <laughs> he just he brain violated probation. <laughs> this, this nigga here. Had his feet up on a bed, had dirty boots on Pelosi desk, nigga. He said, fuck it. He gets six months. I'm going to stay at home, dad, and I need to take care of my children, nigga, for 12 years. <laughs> Big rocks <laughs> into little rocks. That yeah. nigga be so tired when he get out. Or he going to be like Popeye. Like, you, you, can, you can reform a nigga. Like I said, man, it's the gift that keeps on giving. They just raided fucking Trump shit. Fucking what? Last week, week before. Yeah. And this is here, Billy. Moving on. Let's get on down to First Lady Jill Biden. She tests positive for COVID after testing negative on uh, the day before. Then she said she started feeling her throat got scratchy. Uh, unbelievable. <laughs> you know what, I don't know if. You know what she told Governor. Two- now take your hands from around my throat. <laughs> Fuck you, COVID. <laughs> That's the reason her throat's so scratchy. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. Say it again. <laughs> now take your hands from around my throat, nigga. <laughs> Let's move on down to some good old great old American news, bro. Dodge will be discontinuing the Challenger and the Charger muscle car. Now, what they going to tell a lot of them black folk when well, they hear this shit? Well, they're just discontinuing the combustion engine types of those cars they've got like evs coming out to replace them Bruh, so like you can only get the you can only get the v8 now for like you've got to order one now or else you ain't getting it you got to go with the ev but if fucking what, what I, I saw a thing on the internet so take it for what a grain of salt but they did i don't know if it was like a prototype or the actual fucking car but whatever pulled the fuck out of there did look dope yeah 
So, it's yeah. all gonna look dope. It's the prototype, nigga. You know they always go back to the old models. A nigga gonna want a nigga don't want my Chrysler. A nigga want a Dodge Chrysler back in the day with the two though. He want he want the Dukes of Hazard car. Dude, this thing looked dope. It looked like some fucking cyberpunk, fucking futuristic looking shit. You know, so I mean, if that's the hey, wave Chris, of the future, he he get the cyberpunk car. He don't get no experience points. <laughs> That's what they're going to be black. like, Brandon. They're going to fuck us up, man. I'm black folk looking at the white folk doing, telling them what, Brandon. The white folk looking at them, telling them what. Would you like a sale, battles? It's so No, big. nigga, combustion energy, nigga. Engine, nigga, whatever uh, it is. Take your hands from around my <laughs> neck, nigga. <laughs> but nigga, Brandon slipping today on a 200 episode. Ooh, let's get on down to Politico. As I shake my way on down in this story, I look up and sometimes I really wonder. Is God really looking out for us? <laughs> then I read this story. Trump passport taken in the FBI mm. by the FBI doing the more the Mar- Lago search. I'm like, this. y'all took that nigga passport. You take his passport. He pull another one out. All right, don't worry about it. You take that one. Got another one. <laughs> <laughs> it's on a tear off you take, that nigga, you take your passport you have the passport you got I'm a member of every country every state <laughs> you, you sit and take all that nigga passport how the fuck you get to Ecuador you should have checked my shoes sucker nigga <laughs> 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 they took his passport that nigga looking like yeah that ain't the real one anyway I mean, hell, if they took it out of the same safe where those hidden documents was, to each his own. Like, yeah, get the, <laughs> the, the booby trap copies. Oh, shit. How much smarter you, nigga? This ain't the 1950s. You no longer need a goddamn safe in your house. <laughs> you should have been putting that shit in somebody's storage account. They'll never check that. Too many black people over there. True what, the fuck did they, what the fuck a motherfucker still got safes in there? Once they start cutting your children's hands off, <laughs> the safe is easy to get into. <laughs> he ain't never lied, nigga. I always told him, nigga, a safe shows that you have money. <laughs> nigga, you can, you can have one of your floorboards to pop up, nigga, and put your money up on there. A nigga would never know. But when I go in there and see that safe, that's a, that's a huge safe. I can't even hug that. I wonder how much money this cracker got in here. It got it got me asking questions now. <laughs> Think about it, Christy. Hey, white Man. people, when you go to Sam Club, don't walk out with this safe. <laughs> it's about thirty grubby animals waiting on you to get in the car. They taking your tag number, <laughs> was, and they'll be there tomorrow. He was walking out the door and told DS, "We uh, what the hell is in those bags?" <laughs> Rabbit yeah. and weasel. These, these, I can't even hug that as a size of measurement a lot. Hell yeah, man. I can't even hug that, nigga. You heard? I like it. I like it. That's how, how big is it? Fat cash well, in there. <laughs> I couldn't even hug that. Right, damn, let's get on down to the great blessing of some more American news. Good I only had to put the great stories in it this week. We all love Gary Busey, right? I mean, yeah, for what? You know, as much as the next person, I suppose. Love? <laughs> yeah. what? I get this nigga confused with Nick Nolte every time. So I really don't know what move this nigga been in to tell you the truth. Yeah. We love him as much as any drunk uncle that took out a credit card in our name. <laughs> yeah. Gary Nolte is out. charged with six, of, with six offenses at a monster mania con. First of all, I understand. See how you see how I see I told you niggas I fucks with Gary Busey. But if I see Gary Busey in the street, I don't really fuck with that nigga like that. You see what I'm saying? Like if you see him signing autographs and you a woman, you should not be liking Gary Busey. You want to see a nigga fall from grace? Look at Gary Busey when he was 19 to now. If that nigga knew he was going to look like the gargoyle or he is today, he would have changed his whole life. Oh, well, you know he's going to have to sign an autograph for an L. Max Cherry. Bill Bonson. <laughs> Bill Bonson. Bro, how many women are going to see Nick Nolte? Nick, Nick Nolte table should always be empty. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, bro. 
I don't know what move this nigga did. I ain't never even thought about this nigga being young. This nigga been old forever. Hey, Jermaine, he did the movie. Somebody's got to open up the jails. (laughs) Classic, (laughs) nigga. I remember it now. God damn it. He's in, you know what he's in? He's in Under Siege and Point Break. Mm. Right? Yeah. Classic. That nigga had a son that looked just like him. Yeah, Jake from (laughs) Frighteners. Yeah, he was in. This nigga <laughs> was at the Double Tree Hotel, sexual harassing women. <laughs> Allegedly, right? Allegedly, my ass, nigga. Allegedly. When they come out and holler at you, bro, you been charged with the. <laughs> so you know that and was. This shit's there from twenty. That girl. This shit from August the twelfth to fourteen. August the twelfth and fourteen. It was shit. <laughs> that girl's it quote was saying. Stop! Stop! Please stop. <laughs> A hundred and fifty dollars for my gas, bro. Off in the year one, I spent a hundred and fifty million dollars on a soccer field in another state with they budget. You know, white folk ain't got nothing on that nigga. You go talk to the people in the hood. Quit making up that craziness. You know what I mean? Put it's a nigga who's shelling out for five thousand dollars. Tell his life story. White mm. folk don't think no more. Episode two hundred. We will enlighten you every time. Are y'all like still talking about that? You every time. <clears throat> I'm on my bad. I was, I was too busy trying to find a picture of young Gary Busey. <laughs> First time for every sentence, I guess. Yeah. I'm telling you, but I ain't never even thought about that nigga being young. I'm telling you. Nick Nolte been acting forever. Whatever. Nick Nolte, though. Man. That's what that nigga is, bro. That them nigga yeah. twins. No, Dude. Nick knows it used to be handsome. This nigga here looked like he was. He looked like he had always been on the list. I'm sorry. How did Forty Eight Hours get made? Discuss. <laughs> yeah, they made another Forty Eight Hours. Seen, I know, I know. Have y'all seen them? Jesus, uh, uh, Christian, I, I I don't remember them. Sorry, Christian, have you seen them? They are so racist. Hey, Nick knows. Yeah. Stay out of them goddamn oh. Yeah. trees. Oh yeah, very much oh. so. Yeah, the I mean Nick Nolte. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> you go back and watch that movie, that movie would have never got made. The first one, and I think they, they toned it down in the oh, second they? I, oh. it, it felt like it's they toned it down in the second one. Yeah, I'm talking. One, Nick Nolte's just <laughs> laying the N-word out there like yeah. a lot. But hey, what he, he nicknamed Eddie Murphy Watermelon. Like, what the oh. fuck? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, man, I got to rewatch this. Nick yeah, right oh, man, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Rewatch it. It, it is. It I is. say it hasn't aged well. It has not. Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was <laughs> real shit. Back. We need it like that. Nigga, we need Man. real television. Don't hit me with that fluff. When I go on the street, nigga <laughs> call me a nigga, and I be like, confused, huh? <laughs> no, I ain't yeah, confused, let me know what you nigga. think, man. <laughs> let me know what you think. We'll watch uh, it. We'll, we'll on do somebody. A Amazon Prime watch party and watch it. Yeah, we should. Oh, they, they have okay. that on there? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, we can watch that together. Yeah. Oh, I believe. <laughs> well, it's not an Amazon Prime watch movie type of show. Let's get on down on them hands of fluff, <laughs> those hands of fury. Yeah. When you get the hand, boy, they hit you with bank head all the way to the south side. <laughs> Ti punches the chain smoker oh. Drew Tragic in the face over kiss. What's wrong with y'all, white folk? Y'all, there is something inside of people when a nigga assume he can he can kiss you. You know what I'm saying? It's like there is something that you have said or did. He like I'm gonna just go in for it. Nah, nah, that's big and blaming, man. Uh, but seriously though, this guy came out and said he was wrong for it. He, you know, he was like, you know what? I did go too far, I guess. <laughs> right? Did y'all hear that? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I heard it, but yeah, I no, didn't the chain understand. smoker. Yeah, the chain smoker guy. Yeah, he said he out. went too far. <laughs> you know how you go too far, nigga. Yes, when you when you miss past your destination, then you went too far. Hey, my nigga, you thought about that. You built the courage up in your nutsack and said, I'm finna kiss T.I. That nigga gonna like it. T.I. Oh, was... Go ahead. <laughs> what, what, no. what went across this nigga mind? Like, this nigga ain't that gangster. <laughs> and T.I. was probably like, you know, just because my wife looked like Smokey Robinson oh. doesn't mean I want to kiss Smokey Robinson, you know? He's a... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> But what possesses another man to think he can go in and kiss you on your cheek? Kiss you on your cheek and to think it is like good. Craziness. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, 
I don't know, dude. You Let's... really think, nigga, we that famous and we cool? That's like me and Brandon being cool. We famous as fuck. And I see Megan one day and kiss on the lips. Brandon gonna look at me and say, nigga, what the fuck you doing? I'm sorry, Jamar. But what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't go kiss. You, know, you don't go kiss. You don't go kiss Tanya on the lips because we famous and we, you know, it don't matter how long we've been friends. You don't come kiss me on, kiss my wife on her lips or her cheek. I'm just. What are you doing? I'm just. You don't even do your main girl like that. You like, I'm Go oh, with yeah, somebody. Make a spell one. And don't you put your lips on my cheek unless you want your back bent down. Y'all all seen Day Shift. Gonna be Man, like that first true. bitch. My music <laughs> taste is too trash to know who the chain smokers are anyway. I would I listen man. to chain smokers every now and then. Oh, really? I really recognize good. white folks from anybody. They're all right. And they can be standing next to me at <laughs> the gas station. <laughs> wouldn't know a thing. That they all right. <laughs> Got they you. all right. And I let you know, back to what Dusty said earlier, I went back and listened to some music that I used to listen to back in 2000. I said, damn, but my music taste is really trash. Uh, How come no one told me this shit is awful? And I played this shit every day. But that's when you grow, people. <laughs> you grow from garbage into something special, like a cabbage cabbage pack kid, I think, right? Yeah. Uh, Nobody knows fuck you guys. Kids. Yeah, let's get on down on the fluffy hands again. Drake, people are furiously going <laughs> in on Drake. Fluffy hands. Boy, I looked at that nigga hands. I said, no motherfucker there. They ain't even... That nigga hands have never touched a wheelchair. He must have been getting rolled remotely. Dude, I thought <laughs> oh. I thought my hands look soft, but dude, I look like I've been fucking swinging an axe for fifty years compared to that motherfucker's hands. <laughs> Them motherfuckers are made of satin, and they're just skin. Yeah, yeah like, Christian hit him with the line. <laughs> Well, it looked like his hands had never touched inconveniences a day in his life. Man, I Dude, bust yeah. out laughing when I read this. That's, that's real facts right there, Jack. Man. He's soaking in palm olive. <laughs> that nigga, he hasn't touched the doorknob. He gonna brush his nah. teeth. I'm like, damn, boy, look at yeah. my hand look like they've been ran through he's the never, old steel. He's never used deal. a hand dryer. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know. As much as I like Drake, my nigga, look like he didn't bring no lint out from his pocket. That's how I clean his hands up, boy. He ain't got no lint from his pocket. I was like, damn, boy. He's never had to dry him off with bounty. <laughs> damn, nigga, you had to do that. Yeah, <laughs> with paper towels, yes, plenty of times. Oh, uh, I thought to my bro, bounty nigga, like the. Well, he like has the... masseuse hands. It's... He have lady hands. Yeah. <laughs> Right. That nigga ain't never dropped no knife on his hand, got no little cut, no nothing, my nigga. I'm just saying. Hey, look, that ain't even. Go ahead, bro. That ain't even slapping hands. That ain't even slapping hands, man. He too He's soft. never played the slap yeah. game. Boy, no. He slapped you. Damn, boy, I ain't tell you the goddamn grease. You know, <laughs> his whole Pillow hands are white and blue. That's rough, man. Pillow He's never hands. sanded a small wood statuette. Boy, yeah. never. He didn't go to art class. He been wearing mittens all his life. <laughs> and that's my Poor favorite line that Dusty told me. Yeah, don't touch my hands. They're special. I'm warming them up for the future. <laughs> I like it. Him Dusty, Dusty gave me my favorite line in the world. What the fuck are like messing up my hands? This is how I make my money. <laughs> you know how yeah. special these are? Fuck the money makers. You kidding me? <laughs> No nah, man, I keep my hand in my lap when I'm driving. God damn, yeah, he's letting the car drive itself. An uh, artist, nigga, he that good. Fuck with him, man. <laughs> Moving on. Let's go down Put to Metro.com. Yeah. Mm. This is only for me and Dusty. I no longer care about this white man because he's a piece of filth and trash. Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Nick Nicholas Brandon, rushed to the hospital after oh. suffering cardiac arrest. I missed this. Hey, Brandy. Yeah. When he had that heart attack, what the police told him. <laughs> mm. uh, oh my God. Mm. That could have been me. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, making my way downtown. <laughs> so you missing a good one. Yeah, yeah. But like I said, I've got it all the way in the back, so it's not my first go to option. It's all Man. good. I wish you would I wish you would have said somebody need to open up the jail. <laughs> <laughs> that that would have been better. <laughs> And shit, they might have said, damn, uh... Uh-uh. 
What's wrong? <laughs> Come back, Nicholas. Come back. Yeah. We reached out to the co-stars and nobody said a thing. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I don't fuck with Nicholas Brandon, man. He, that nigga is scumbag, bro. I was going to put him in the pre upper room, but last time we did that, uh, <laughs> fucking Ann H died. Oh. Y'all put Ann H in the pre upper room? Put, nigga, she was on She had that car nigga, accident, she... and I was like, damn, boy, that shit don't look good. I'm putting her in the pre upper room. Brandon said, you sure she might pull through? Maybe he said that. It was a lie. <laughs> the lie detector test. The lie detector test said that was a lie. She didn't did get, not pull through. She didn't get no Caroline call. Caroline, come to the light. Mm-mm. Not at all. You like them fuck gonna lock me up for that cocaine? Damn <laughs> <Hell, boy. laughs> And they found budget, you know. They, oh, my, bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Go ahead. Don't forget Jamal. about Ann Hayes. Well, you know, moving on from Nicholas Brandon, let's oh, get on man. down to some real Trace. apologetic American. Where we live at, Brandon? Living in America. Yahoo.com. Academy has finally apologized. To how you say her name is? Sanchi Littlefoot? Little Feather. 50 years after she was booed, declining. Oh. Marlon Brando Oscar. I just want y'all nigga to know one thing. A white man sent a Native American woman up there to damn near get massacred. <laughs> <laughs> Because he won a hundred, nigga. You declined your own award, and John Wayne would have got the way he wanted. She, she would have been governor her food. Yeah, they said he stood up, started coming for it. Uh, y'all heard that? Yeah, yeah, he was. They said he started coming for it. Like, face. what was he about to do? You know what he about to do, nigga? Not in my America, nigga. Flipping over seat. <laughs> Fuck your Jack Daniels, nigga. <laughs> And, bro, you know, the sad thing is when we were kids, bro, I used to fuck with John Wayne mm-hmm. until I found out that nigga was a stone. I said, this nigga here, this scumbag, is he dead? He been dead. You know, Good. John Wayne showed up and yelled, y'all killing me with this <laughs> But in later 75 years old, man, John Wayne within a snuff little fella, I mean little feather, 50 <laughs> years ago. I guess she got the last laugh. <laughs> nigga John Wayne is rolling over in his grave. He coming back from the dead. No, you niggas ain't. <laughs> <laughs> That's America, Jack. <laughs> that nigga part of Scooby Doo 13 Ghost. Don't, don't, please don't release that nigga, man. <laughs> please don't release that nigga. Hey, bro. It took the Academy Award 50 years to apologize to a person we didn't know about until we seen it on the internet. I would have told the motherfucker at lawsuit time. <laughs> you acknowledged it, my nigga. You know what he needs to do. I should be back in school. Oh, <laughs> no, you know, nigga, the captain, not, not John Wayne. <laughs> John Wayne about to take a motherfucker back home. <laughs> You know what he said, don't little feather. Put your shoes on, son. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> While I march down this aisle. He didn't march. He was sprinting. <laughs> well, hey, John Wayne, do your thing, man. I know you're rolling over in your grave. Come up out of there and make one of them white speeches. Three. <laughs> that nigga had been drinking some good goddamn liquor. I'm going to punch that bitch in the face. I can't believe you, John. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you know that what he was thinking. <laughs> I, I bet somebody told him, I bet you won't go punch her, John. And them <laughs> niggas will take your picture, nigga. They don't mind if I do. <laughs> he probably was hoping them niggas stop him because, you know, your career would have been over after you just punched <laughs> little fella <laughs> in the face. Come on, my nigga. She was 25 at the time. You dirty bastard. <laughs> you know what little brother right. told him. If, if, if you really don't like me, just act like you like me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we can get this motherfucking money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. What all the white people uh, seen John Wayne run out there with a cowboy hat? I love to sing <laughs> about the moon and the June and the springer. <laughs> then John Wayne had to turn around and tell him. No, 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 no. You done got me talking politics. <laughs> I didn't want to... <laughs> oh, 
and that nigga never apologized. <laughs> <laughs> no white folks ain't worth shit. <laughs> Moving on, ain't he good though? Won't he will? But shout out the little fella, little fella. Big up to you. I don't know if you're gonna accept that, man. You old as shit, and he probably don't even remember the fucking goddamn Oscar. Or uh, maybe she do. Maybe she old and all she think about that nigga was going to punch me nah. in my face. <laughs> That's the highlight of her life is being at them Oscars. She's told everybody about it for the last 70 years. That nigga John Wayne. You lying. John Wayne. <laughs> the cowboy. That nigga was coming to take my life. <laughs> well, any good don't want it. Well, sometimes God give it and sometimes he take it away. Oh man, Michelle Branch is filed for divorce. Finally, Brandy. <laughs> She's going to have to meet her attorney. Make him away downtown. Hmm. <laughs> and we know that's not Michelle <laughs> Branch. Did she sing people. that? No, but that's a cartoon. But she, she, she punched her husband in the face last week. And she was like, "Stop." <laughs> Now take your hands around. Keep going though. Goddamn, I appreciate Michelle. And I ain't gonna lie to you, Michelle Branch is looking good for somebody who's forty-two. Huh? And I don't know what she's doing dating that unattractive ass, goofy looking ass white man. She needs somebody to slap around, nigga. You seen it? <laughs> Domestic violence. Oh no, that nigga had them Drake hands. He sent her to jail. <laughs> <laughs> nigga hide behind the baby. You know, Don't hit me, Michelle. Calm down. You know why she's divorcing that guy? I do not have the money, okay? Really? Huh. Did you hear me? Man, I looked at how much. You know how much Michelle Branch is worth? No. You, you wouldn't believe it. 15 goddamn million dollars. Mm. Well, she's been good with her money then. Yeah, maybe been making some Holler wise at me, investments. Michelle. Get them, grub, get them grub ass niggas out your pocket. I can be your side, <laughs> daddy. I'll never fight you. I even feed your child, watch him. Play basketball with him, teach him some slang. Teach him how to mow the lawn. I only need a hundred thousand dollars a year. Yeah. Maybe you want Nookie? That's gonna be extra fifty. <laughs> Moving on, Dandy. So we appreciate her getting a divorce from that ugly man. Let's move on down to Florence Pug. She has confirmed that her and Zach Braff quietly split earlier this year. What's a don't get me wrong now. I, I get this ugly man confused with the nigga who married a Christian Bale. Hold on, hold on. Wait, this just in. Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, fucks with, I, I fucks with goddamn Florence. Now, hey, Florence. What's up, baby? How you doing? Florence who? Yeah. Come on, Pug. Oh, yeah. oh, I got you. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Zach Braff, I yes. give a shit less yeah. about. I never cared for scrubs. Yeah. That nigga Zach Braff sitting there yeah. crying. Yeah. That bitch left me for a prettier guy. <laughs> yeah, she was gonna be with you forever, nigga. She got money now. You dump ugly and go up. She getting she getting that new qu- quality dick. You know, not that scrub dick. This like celebrity a list a listed dick, Marvel dick. You know, she ain't getting no nigga who was on scrubs. She getting like a Chris Evans or somebody sliding in her DM. What's up, baby? Nigga, <laughs> Dakota Dakota Beaver out here <laughs> making moves. <laughs> yeah, everybody here got them looking good now, nigga. You worthless. What you mean you finna do scrubs rehash? No, thank you. <laughs> Ain't it good though, won't it will? They are over in, in the fish out there, boy. They said every nigga, every nigga in the world are trying to get a piece of Florence. I can believe Florence, it. L, Florence, Florence who? Sounds Pug. Good. The one from um uh, Midsummer, Black yeah. Widow. Black Widow, the young widow. Yeah. The Young Widow Sister. Oh, I've never seen that movie. I haven't seen it yet. And then a little while ago, she wore a controversial dress to the somethings. The one that's from Midsummer. The white girl from Midsummer. Well, you know, it was a lot oh. of white women in Midsummer. It was all white. The main girl. <laughs> well, she wore a see through dress, man. I'll tell you something. Yeah. Your titties, yeah. God damn. Let me look this we, up. We talked oh, about look that. it up. Look it up. I mean, uh, moving on. <laughs> Ain't he good? I want the wheel, boy. Sometimes God give it. Sometimes he take it away. I'm gonna take that shit away from Dusty, and I'm gonna give that good <laughs> Please, heartfelt dude. shit he was going toward to this man. A man was swimming, and the alligator attacked him. He he fought the elevator. The alligator off. I'm sorry. He understand me, people. When I say this alligator, him and that nigga were going at it like the real crocodile Dundee. 
Now understand me, the end effect is not pretty. He got a tar with a shit in his tongue. I mean, in his neck, his head is all fucked. They on sold his head up in like ten different places. But he just happened to be alive. I mean, yeah, wouldn't you? Yeah. Plus, I mean, that's a cool. That's a cool bar story. How'd you get all those fucking scars? I fucking wrestled an alligator to death. Yeah. Pull up a chair. He may, never be, he may never be the same again. Somebody gonna have to probably give him his bill. Unless he heals, you know. Dude, every bar that he goes into, somebody's gonna be like, Would you like a sale, Battles? It's so hmm. big. <laughs> <laughs> I drag a Sam Adams next to you. Put a hat on. I can't really see y'all was stitching. You know what he told that alligator? Now take your hands from around my throat, nigga. So Bro. God really bless this man. He got back to see his family. This Dude. nigga said he was doing something for work in the world. And I was thinking to myself, I go to work every day and I hate my job. I said some shit like this can happen, my nigga. That's yeah. the job you chose. You know what the only thing I could think was? Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. That could have been me. Well, what? Nigga, the cameraman <laughs> and the helicopter man were looking at that nigga. Wasn't nobody screaming? <laughs> I'd be mad at hell, them nigga. I was out there. But I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> telling you, bro. I'm mad at every nigga that was on the boat, every nigga I see in person, the doctor. <laughs> Uh, everybody, nigga, I'm mad at the universe, nigga. You see me now? <laughs> Lay fuck down on me. this couch, Jermaine. Yeah, fuck this and couch, bro. You, fuck you, Do you Steve. realize fuck your mama? Fuck we'll you, talk about, never we'll talk fight about your journey. journey. <laughs> Recover from all those bills and surgery. Nah, nah, man. Fucking, I'm sure that damn, uh, since he was on the job, he's going to get some compensation. Nigga, he what? gonna ruin the company. <laughs> <laughs> Why you saying that you, 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 you ruin the company, nigga? My head, half of my head is gone. I gotta eat my soup from my neck, nigga. What did that tell you? <laughs> Plus, you get to go on disability. I mean, there's upside. <laughs> Y'all niggas, and white white folks and niggas in disability. Who wants to be sitting at home all day? That shit <laughs> get bored. Me. Oh, me. Nigga, I'll be sharpening what? machete every day, nigga, until it get just ripe enough. Well, it cut a coconut in six seconds. I'm going to the job. Shit, not me, Jack. I was off for two weeks. Now, I, at the end of it, I was just like, fuck, I got to go back to work. You know, I wasn't ready. I could have been off for six months. Still wouldn't want to go back to work. Yeah, I don't want to go back. I want to go back to that shit. Do something else. Y'all motherfuckers ain't got enough good. hobbies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do. When you wait for to this jump in, like, no, work is great. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stop, everybody. Uh, moving on to Ellen DeGeneres. New show is Counsel by Warner Brothers. Ain't he good, though, won't he, Will? <laughs> that little mongrel don't need any more show. And has she said anything about Ann Hayes? Mm, good question. I don't know. I'm not uh, aware of her. Uh, I haven't seen They used to date. Yeah, they did. Mm hmm. Oh, uh, well, I ain't heard no statement. You know, I, my mama my, my look at the news all the time. I look at it. She ain't well, saying I nothing. Mean, dude, if one of your ex-girlfriends fucking died, would you make a statement? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Generous. You know they come to your house for you to make a statement. They I mean, all in the window coming out like, like Santa Claus out the chimney. Ellen, <laughs> would you like to make a statement about Ann H? I mean, one of my... yeah, but why? Why would you even give a shit what Dylan thinks? Yeah. My, man, my I clothes don't care. would make a statement. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, ow, look at all these vibrant colors. Get <laughs> the gold chain, nigga. I don't live in fabulous, nigga. <laughs> I don't remember who Tristan is. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, what? Hey, tell him again, Dustin. Dripped up and draped out, nigga. What you mean? She did what? <laughs> uh, fucking bow wow or how's Oh. Go? Pow pow man. I don't know. <laughs> but I don't even know that's the a good point. It's a valid was. point, Brandon. Valid point. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, moving on. Uh, we don't care, but you know it's a TMZ were like, nigga, we need a statement from Ellen. The first one to get it one million dollars. Yeah, because they're vampires. They're leeches on the ass of society. Yeah. We just if I ever said... become rich, we should make a squid game for paparazzi. <laughs> Either you nigga play the game or you make big rocks into little rocks twelve year. You can this is my own land. I sanction it. <laughs> yeah, shit, Wakanda I be forever. 
This nigga don't went crazy, nigga breaking the rock. <laughs> we need that vibranium. He's just uh, uh, <laughs> be walking around with a black panther suit, oh. My stuff and hang it up. Bring me my vibranium. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the imagination is wild. Just whipping white people back. <laughs> 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 and play number black 70 exploitation film. See y'all niggas are tighten up. You want to be a paparazzi? No, I want to go back to school and do a do law so we can, we can get you arrested. Yeah. You all fucked up, my nigga, the wrong word. A <laughs> human tornado. Uh, uh, good looking out, God. Looking at the Little League World Series player who was critically injured once he fell off his bunk bed. He is no longer under sedation. Mm. Mm. You know mm. where he's going to have to go. I should be back in school. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, nigga, they got to put you under sedation. You're going to be back in the hospital for a long while. I mean, that's Hopefully he one, wasn't that's a star player. Of youth, I think, is falling off the bunk bed, right? Yeah, I mean. Yeah, but, 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 but getting knocked completely out, nigga. <laughs> Rub some dirt yeah. on it. Well, did he hit a filing cabinet? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just kidding. God, God speaks to that kid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> he may mm. never financially recover. Yeah. You think the little World Series gonna help him out? They got insurance, my nigga. That was uh now. It, matter of fact, it was at their dormitory, so them niggas got them pay. Got them. <laughs> he's sitting there with a, he's sitting there with an ice pack on his head. We got them, mom. <laughs> I'm seeing double. Don't let me go to sleep. <laughs> uh, we hope this little man get better, though, man. Let's get on down to you don't fuck up your money. We all love when you see rich people fuck up their money. Sometimes it's more impressive when you see a poor person do it. Because a nigga <laughs> have his last dollar and just wither it away on wishing. Yeah. Yeah. We hate to see it. Or love uh, to see it. I love it. Uh, if any one of y'all on the 200 episode have fucked up your money, you can explain if you like. Dusty, Jermaine, Brandon. Uh, like at any point in our life? Yeah, like you just want to say yeah. you realize you fucked up your money? Yeah, no doubt. Uh, no doubt. Like, yeah. you think about, you know, when you're a kid and you're just like, well, one day I might miss a payment on something. Shit. Miss a whole payment in real life. See how long that shit haunts you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just wait. Those motherfuckers have got you for seven or eight years minimum. You know what I mean? And you're going to hear about that shit every freaking time. Oh, my God. I've done it. Yeah. yeah when, I Nobody, had to, no. when you had to wipe your fucking ass with some newspaper because we didn't have no toilet paper. Cause we, <laughs> yeah. We yeah. got a little and that crazy. And shit be to black people, Brandon, when you say shit like that. Because black folk, be, they jaw be open. <gasps> Nigga, you, you white. You a poor? <laughs> How the hell that happened? Trust Didn't me. Didn't use your yeah. privilege, did you? No, not at all. I wasted every bit of mine, apparently, because, man, it was <laughs> never some lean months. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's true. <laughs> so, there's my story. <laughs> my too. We yeah. appreciate you got anything, Jermaine or Christian, <laughs> but you fucking up your money. I'm going to stay out of this one. We fucking up my money, nigga. I don't know. <laughs> it's a casual thing for me. I don't even know if I can think of nothing real good right now. I see a Chris can go. Give me, give me a couple seconds. I got you. I got you. I got one. Uh, I was younger, uh, man. I might have been fresh out of high school. Uh, I went to a GameStop on MLK, and you know, as uh, two motherfuckers came up to me with a with with. Three bottle tops and uh, what is that? It was something like a little small ball. Oh, three cut. Oh got man, it. they got you. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, they uh, so they I guess they 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 suck me in trying to get me to you know to play the I got the I got the first try right. right. So, the shell game. Yeah, yes. the shell game. Oh. Yeah, man. Uh, they got me. I was like eighteen. I I, I didn't know them, but I guess. It, 
They got him the, the first time. They was like, hey, yo, you did good. Why don't you just put some money on it? I was like, ah, maybe I shouldn't do that, you know. <laughs> I, I, want, I need to go to the grocery store and, and, and get something. Uh, well, come on. You probably put your W money. I'm, uh, <laughs> double it. Shit. Yeah. Me, let, let, that sounds like, <laughs> sound like a deal to me. It sounds like a deal to me. I, I put the 20 rude. in. Motherfucker, I did not see the ball. I turned around. Them niggas was like gone out the out the building. <laughs> Damn. Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. And I had to explain why I couldn't get what I went to the store to go get. <laughs> what, so, what, yeah. what lie did you tell him? Did you just come up and be like, I got robbed? Because that's what I would have told him. I'd be like, I was walking to the store no, it, and I got it robbed. It must have fell out my pocket when I was looking for it. I couldn't find it. <laughs> That that's not a bad one either. Yeah, that nigga think. come home with three goddamn caps in his pocket. <laughs> nigga, where you get these caps from? Well. I didn't see you out the house with these. I'm gonna make our money back, Mo. I promise. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't leave the game empty-handed. <laughs> uh, you know the people, bro. It's a rule, baby. I'm sorry. I've been I ain't never been got like that because my, my mama always told me that shit was a con game, and she's pretty. She used to do it to us. So you oh. know how you can catch him. My uncle did it too. He did it real good. He said, nigga, I'm always cheating. Your eyes are too slow. Mm. <laughs> Anytime a nigga start pulling out three cards, and Monty some shells, I am out, my nigga. <laughs> Gang, you gotta be. You gotta be. <laughs> Don't fall for it because you're gonna win on that now. first one. If you win that first one, then they got like a little bunny on it, then just walk away and take their cash. Yeah. No, nah, they let you win first. They gotta find a nigga who yeah, will yeah, do yeah. Yeah, they, you gonna they be a dupey or a duper? Yeah, they build your confidence first, and then you know take the money. You win twice, show your pistol. I don't want to play no more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <nigga>. Damn, <laughs> you just shoot that nigga in the leg. You're, you're, you're like one of those. Play money, y'all hold on to. Man, you're like one of those YouTube videos, how to beat the shell game. God damn <laughs> right, nigga. Turn around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've only got one kind of shells. Yeah. <laughs> nah, it's about, about 15 in here, nigga. They gonna stop your Mario Kart, nigga. It's a <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, let's get on down to the Finland leader who was slammed for leaked video of her dancing at a private party. What was she doing at this private She must have been fucking the sun, bro. This shit is really... Ruining her career. Wow. I couldn't find a video. It, it wouldn't never. I couldn't find a video either. Did, is it because they got like really strict COVID stuff still? Man, what? In Finland? What? In Finland? what the what? Maybe. I mean, I'm just why like why are people mad? At this bitch is dancing like like she freak dancing, bro. I think that's what the article was saying. Mm. What she was like twerking. Bro, it, it got to be something for it to be so blasphemy to not be a be called. I mean, like, damn, that was her. I'd be like, God gave me an ass. I'm a twerk, 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 yeah. twerk, 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 twerk. If you're everybody. twerking, you're still working. <laughs> right. This, this should have been under mind your business because everybody else should fucking, you know, if she it, wants to get it, out it there like she... and fucking shake her ass, then let her. Yeah. <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't like she peeing in a nigga mouth or right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, we got to talk about oh. that one. Right. She's How soon fucking... can I get to that party? Because you rich and I need to goddamn get some money off you. She's just a little bump and grind. There ain't nothing wrong with it. They made a whole I song think. about it. Mm. But like, bro, it, it, it couldn't. It's nothing that she could actually fucking do and be like, oh my God, I can't fucking believe it. Like, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, I thought it was cause maybe because of some COVID restrictions and She's out there. If, she not, if that's going on and she's out there grinding ass, then I, mean, Bro. I can see where that'd be maddening. Man, nigga been in cold for two and a half years. You done survive. You, you, it's him. It's time for you to grind. I grind, agree. baby. <laughs> I agree. She yeah, was fine. People need to but she said it was a private shit. party, and it was only supposed to be meant for her friends to see. I'm like, what are y'all doing at this party, nigga? I need to be there. I need to see the picture. I'm going to call Brandon E. niggas in here fucking, bro. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> Jermaine, Dustin. Mm. The cocaine look like Mount Everest, my nigga. I have <laughs> never in my life experienced my nigga. Come. Yeah. Dude, but, man, when you're a public figure like that, you've just got to be, you've just got to think that they, somebody is constantly recording you at all times. You know? I'm going to say this, bro, and I paid attention to it. People need to quit apologizing for shit. Tell them, I'm an adult. I can do what the fuck I want to do. Fuck that, that shit. I can agree with that, too. 
Yeah, fuck off. When Don off. Lemon said, was it Don Lemon? He was up there freak dancing and popping and shit. <laughs> it sure was. He was like, there. we talking about regular black folks, or we talking about black, black. That nigga didn't apologize. That nigga still on the show, making him money. Do your thing, black, <laughs> black brother. <laughs> that nigga on the list, because he probably don't sexualize a few people, allegedly. I fucks with Don Lemon, he don't care how he get down no more. <laughs> fuck it, nigga. I'm drunk, nigga. Fuck COVID. I'm drunk. I'm high. I'm finna dance with these green. Sh- it's nine degrees outside, nigga. Shake your money, maker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's get on down to NBCnews.com. I sh- I want to put this up on a black terror, but I'm gonna put this up on you hillbillies who don't fuck up their money. Missouri pastor say his congregation is poor and a bunch <laughs> of broke ass, busted people for not buying him a Lexus Movado watch. Understand me. If a nigga in my church ever tell me that, we're going to take everything from him. His shoes, the pool pit, everything <laughs> is coming out there church. He's a con man. Yes, the collection I mean, nigga, plates definitely going to be We don't buy you a bottle watch, nigga. Ask God for it like you tell me to. <laughs> <laughs> right. He should bless you. Yeah. I'm going to bless them clothes off you, bitch-ass nigga. <laughs> we, we poor. We broke. Rip the leathers off that nigga's seats in their car. Nigga, yeah, I'll go to the prayer wall, nigga, in the one closet. Dude, that is fucking disgusting. If your fucking preacher is trying to make you goddamn buy him a watch, yeah, what, is he trying to flex ne- next to Creflo? Yeah. This nigga look like he in his 20s, bro. 30s. He don't look that old. Mm. He's got Creflo in We better go into a we better go into a deep recession, my nigga. He better be <laughs> saving that money up. Fuck that Mavado watch. He came back and apologized. I was like, I'm it's sure too late. Did. I'm sure he fucking did. You know, but man, this ain't the lower <laughs> house, dumb old nigga. You're right. This is Rage on. This is Mavado's house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> time. Right. Anytime that motherfucker was reading some kind of story where I was supposed to be chastised, you know, I just look at him, shake my head. How you gonna <laughs> tell me? A con man born every Play every nigga in the congregation need to get a cheap in my bottle they can find and wear the wear the wear to the uh, church Sunday. Bitch ass nigga, we all got my bottle of watches, but you <laughs> 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 He's so low, bro, because a nigga just want to watch. Come on, man. You got a congregation. Why go for a watch when you can get a car? Well, why go for a car when you can get a home? Tighten up, man. Because they're broke. The watch was probably <laughs> yeah, the only nigga, thing he you thought know. he could get. <laughs> and they were too broke for that. Should have found you some rubes with some real money. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure, Moving was, on. I'm sure he was working his way He's up. going to jail. Yeah. Oh, God, I always remember people. Never mind. Moving on, let's go down to the, the biggest thing that happened in 2022. It shit blow people's mind. It was extravagant. It was amazing. It doubled. People have been going to get this done all the time. Women have been going to get this done. If you got an ugly vagina, we get you a new one. Ooh. In 2022, they have desi- designer vaginas. My nigga, let me tell you people something. You are born <laughs> with what you're born with. Yes. If it's ugly, it's ugly. If it's sexy, it's sexy. It don't matter. It is for every man or every woman in this world. It is yours. Keep what you got. I don't know why these motherfuckers keep filleting the meat off their shit to make it look <laughs> like, oh, that's so pretty. What are we doing here? This is not a this is not a Thanksgiving ham. Leave what, what, do you con- what do you consider an ugly vagina? Like, you got, who is this nigga to determine that? Like, can I be that nigga? Right. This is a job needed for a nigga who just don't need a job. Like, yeah, that right. shit, it ain't no good. Right. And we raised them lips back a little I, bit and yeah, slice some of that I, fat off. You'd be an eight. I've never met an RV sandwich I didn't like. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> But they said designer vaginas after ultra tight leggings have became uncomfortable or embarrassing. If you got an ugly vagina, just put on some ugly panties. Who cares? How can you have ugly? Hey, well, you know what? Never mind. But like, hey, look, you, if you playing fisticuff down there, do your thing. Mm. Now, that thing look like octopus. I don't know. Don't put on no. Don't put on no leggings. I don't know. I had a couple of my lifetime, like, huh? It's pretty ugly. But hey. I'm not here for this. Hey, I can just, dictate how it looks later. Just get a cup. Yeah. It looks nigga, smooth I, as an I, egg. I'm, 
bro. Honestly, I you, bro, I, you I have seen stuff. some ugly ones. But I'm just I, I'm not finna say I've seen some ugly ones in pants, but damn but I have seen some ugly ones. I wish you had a lady here to confirm and say she seen some ugly penises, but you know. We don't want to be that chauvinistic. Something that makes me so uncomfortable in the street. If I see a lady with some tight on, tights on, and I can see your print, that shit makes me uncomfortable. Not me, nigga. I don't, I don't know who. <laughs> hey, you just making people stare at that football down there. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, uh, where you going with that camera? It, and and it, <laughs> they know you stare. They know you stare. You can't unlook look at that shit. That shit look like a ketchup mitt down a ketchup mitt down well, there. She, he's trying to show you. Look like one of them baby. Tron vehicles. I'm like, that boy, I don't know what you're not seeing, nigga, but I like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it don't make me uncomfortable. Tron you know. vehicles. What, the bad guy tanks? Oh, man. Oh, shit. The spread kind. You know what I mean? I, I... <laughs> wow. I ain't know, people. And this shit cost $4,000. Think of a man can make his junk look better. <laughs> Bro, what you gonna hey, do, like? Can, can, can you do some of that? <laughs> no, nah, my nigga, it's fucked up. Bro, how, how do you get? Where do you get your pictures from to be like, I want it to look like this? This is Kim K. This is the only angle we got from before Ray J destroyed it. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what we gonna look at? Like, yeah, here. Yeah. Here go, here go another famous person crotch. Like, what? <laughs> it's like a haircut. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all want my to look like a number 16. <laughs> yeah. Get the Rachel. Coming up. <laughs> Coming up. Oh, man. Can Y'all I get that Stormy Daniels? Oh, Lord. <laughs> I want to look like a butterfly when I sit down. Man. <laughs> Y'all nigga got tight though. This nigga starving in the street. The motherfucking letting the doctor butcher they for China. Doctor Giggles over here making your shit look better. Mm. <laughs> it's obviously you know. Never mind. Moving on. Let's go down to a diamond clad Rick Ross. Shout out to my nigga Rick Ross. You don't <laughs> fuck your money up if you working at that wing stop, boy. This nigga had twelve year old working past daytime, paying nigga under the minimum wage. Now, fair enough. Like I told Christian. It ain't. It's not Rick Ross' fault. He ain't keeping up with no Bojangles or whatever the fuck the restaurant is. He the wing stop he have in Alabama. No, nobody give up. Nobody care about that shit. Them niggas just happen to be working, which is more insane. But you know he gave over half ass apology. Talking about we all made mistakes, but we gonna serve to get better. Nigga, your pinky ring can probably pay one of them nigga mortgage for twelve years. Yeah. I'll probably get that nigga a college career. Yeah, true that. That's real talk. <laughs> He's, he is completely dripped out, which is not. Now ain't the time, you know. Yeah. Now ain't the time. Fifty-one thousand dollars in back wages and sixty-two thousand dollars in civil penalties while wearing a diamond chain and Beaumont sweater. What's a Bow? What's a Beaumont sweater? I'm sure it's something rich that we don't know about because we're poor. Mm. He said, Ross said on Instagram <laughs> story, the nigga gave out an Instagram apology. I'll let fuck, I fuck with you, Ross. When running a business, there will be mistakes made. But as the biggest boss, you never make the same mistake twice. The same mistake twice, he said. <laughs> that nigga just told y'all, yeah, nigga, I got caught. I won't <laughs> do it again. <laughs> you know what it sound like to me? <laughs> 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 Bro, I love it. Hey, how you are? 13 on a job. What's the latest you can wait? Midnight. You working at 1 p.m. a.m., nigga. Cool. <laughs> Officer Ricky, you forgot to pay us. <laughs> how much I owe you? <laughs> if you? If you 13, you ain't counting your money right. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you 13, 12, you ain't counting your money right. That's true. Getting ripped out like that lemonade stand, do a bro. I need change for that two thousand dollar bill. What? <laughs> Let me go call my mom and dad. What'd you get quick. there for? Man, they got them at the bank. It's special. You can have one. <laughs> but in fact, you can hold another one for collateral, nigga. <laughs> and that's the end of part one. Thanks for everybody for tuning in. Uh, come back Friday for the exciting conclusion of part two.